Hey, I think I actually finally did it. Huh, finally. A hidden compartment. Who would hide something here? Oh my god, that took ages to do that one. Wow. Yeah, it's mainly just that last part, trying to figure out which ones I did wrong. God, wow, that took out ages. Okay, two more doors. I hope that you will never need to see this note, but I'm worried that I might be leaving you much sooner than I want to. There are a few things you need to know. 
First, you need to take care of each other. If you found this, it's because you work together. Keep it up. On your 15th birthday, I will give you each half of what you need to find this note. I know you'll be able to work things out between each other if you try. Please try it as a favour to me. Second, the rear corner is just a place, nothing more. Neither of you have to stay to take care of it. These are your lives. You have to live in a way that makes you happy. All I ask is that you work out your decision to get together. <clears throat> Finally, if you're reading this, then I'm sorry. If I had my way, I'd be there for you always. Take care of each other and take care of your grandmother. I know she disagrees with what I want for, for you too, but I don't take that pers but don't take that personally. In her own way, she only wants the best for you two. Okay. Ooh, swords. Okay, there's a bunny rabbit. Uh oh. Oh my god. Ah, uh, hi there. And I've been thrown into oh the no. water. I'd better find a way to cut these cords in half and fast. Uh oh. oh I've got the swords. Come on. Okay, I don't know which ones I'm going for. I'm running out of time. Yeah, I'm gonna end up losing this one. Yeah, I'm running out of breath. And I'm drowning. Oops. <laughs> okay, I died. Yay! <laughs> now you can know how long you can hold your breath. There's less time than presently required. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Oh no! I better find. <laughs> I love that one. The Inquisitor goes there would say, it's locked. <laughs> uh, I like that one. Okay, I almost oh, no. did make it. I'd better find a way to cut these. Yes, I did it. Thinking, oh yeah, just do the corners. Oh. The joint near the elbow looks a lot like what Rentaro was working on in his shed. So it is Rentaro then. I have a feeling that there's maybe more than one person involved with this. God, that looks freaking creepy. <laughs> I know the perfect song day would go for this. <laughs> oh, I'm having way too much fun with this than <laughs> I should be. Uh, yeah, I'm way too much fun. <laughs> okay, I better just leave the piece alone. Uh, God, I'm having way too much fun. Oh, wrong way. Hey, wrong way again. Okay, I know exactly who I need to talk to. Hmm, where's he going? Hmm. I haven't seen Rentara anywhere. <laughs> Wait, hold on, she's gone as well. Hold on, what time is it? They should be here. Hmm. I have a feeling that they may actually all be behind it. I have a feeling about that. And she's here. Hello, Nancy-san. Did you know about Kasumi's will? She did not have a will. She was too young. She did. I found it. No. You don't understand what you found. Whatever that says, she didn't mean it. How would 
would you know if she didn't mean it? No, you don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You didn't tell the girls what their mother really wanted because you're afraid of losing the Ryukon. You made up all of this ghost business to scare the girls into doing what you want. Stop! Stop! You're wrong! What do you mean? You... You are right about the will. I knew what Kasumi wanted. Then why did you hide it from them? I wouldn't expect you to understand. Try me. I can't lose them too. There's no guaranteeing that they'll leave if they know the truth. Yes, there is. There is too much sadness for them here. They've forgotten about how things used to be before, before she died. They've forgotten about how this used to be our home. But why would you fake these hauntings if you want them to stay? I would never do that. I think maybe I jumped to a decision too quickly. I know you mean well, Nancy-san. You can't help us here. But thank you for trying. Yeah, I have a feeling that she isn't behind it. I think, like, Rentaru is doing it because he's probably, like, wanting them to, like, move out because he's, like, been saying he really wants to move to the city and that, so... What really happened to Kasumi? I need to know. The police said it was an accident. It wasn't an accident. What did happen? It was my job to take care of the bass. I was supposed to be there. She... She was supposed to be meeting with that Penipal friend of hers downtown. She was so excited to go. I should have let her go. I should have taken care of everything myself, but I didn't want to. I didn't like her going into the city. I didn't like that pen pal of hers, always getting her so wound up about leaving here. So, I played sick so she couldn't go. I don't understand. The pool ledges are very slippery. You must know where to walk. There was a reason I never let her do that part. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was too selfish. She drowned that night in the bats. It should have been me down there. And she knows that. You can't blame yourself for that. You don't understand. I do. Accidents happen. As much as we wish they didn't, you can't keep everyone safe, no matter how hard you try. It is different for a parent, Nancy-san. Miwako and Yumi blame themselves, too. If you can't let Kasumi go, how will you be able to help the girls? I don't know if I can do that. Hmm. Okay. I still need to find where we're in Tara in that one, because they kind of disappeared. Okay, what the hell was that noise? Ugh. No, uh, not quite right. This must be the recorder Rintaro was talking about earlier. I'll take this and leave the other one here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, we'll take that one. I should translate this and figure out what he's up to. Okay, where's my translate book there? Must finish today. Room 33. Okay, so he must be back in there. Doromatic. Okay, so it looks like we're going back to room 33 then. Strange. It's not working anymore. I should find another way in. Okay, so that's where probably the Doromatic thing comes in handy. 
Next one along. Okay, where's that dramatic thing? There it is. Ha, there we go. Hi there, Rentaro. What are you doing in here? You're the one trying to scare everyone away, aren't you? No, Nancy. I'm not trying to scare everyone away. I am scaring everyone away. The Ryokan needs to close down. But why would you want to close this place down? Look around you. Does this look like a good place? Everyone can sense it immediately. And it makes them leave. Everyone but you. But when I tell Miwako that you're here to collect info for Savannah's next book, you'll be out of here too. I've got to find a way to keep him from escaping. <laughs> Not so fast. Find a way to convince everyone about Rentaro quickly. Okay, this. I don't get it. You're the one who told me the ghosts aren't real. No one usually listens to that line because they want to believe in the ghosts. I didn't start that. They did. They wanted the show, and I gave it to them because enough with them and enough of this place. I asked Miwako to leave. I even left myself. Why did you come back? I can't leave Miwako here alone. I need to convince her to leave or close this place down. It doesn't matter to me. But you, it's time that you leave. Now. Yeah, I don't think Look about familiar? that. familiar? It's been on this whole time. I just push this button and I'll send everything you said to every voicemail box in the place. No, don't. Why shouldn't I? After everything you've done, your ghost almost drowned me. I really screwed up here. Let me be the one to tell her. If I do, she might forgive me. Eventually. Okay, so here's a choice. Um, I'll save here first. Because, yeah, we're going to get different endings, but looks it. Okay, so I'm gonna go for this one first, because screw you, because you try to kill me. Not a chance, Rentaro. Alright, I don't want to be here when you tell her. Dear Hannah, Rentaro left and never returned to the Ryokan. To this day, no one knows where he went. When I told Mawako and Takai what he'd been up to, they were furious and relieved. After living in the shadow of Rentaro's hauntings for so long, they were finally able to feel at home again in the Ryokan. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time in the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Oh, okay, uh, Tuki's a pile what about a cat line? God, um... You think I'll know this, but it's future feline, isn't it? And I got awards too. Okay, I've got Cat Whisperer, Easter Egg, and Mystery Seeker. Okay. I didn't get. I oh, thought solving all Ren's puzzles, so yeah, I didn't get that one. Uh, for sharing your costume designs with the world. Didn't do that one. Uh, for listening to the world around you. Don't think I. That's probably with the um, EVPs. I probably didn't get them all. 
uh, for mastering the art of Bensu. Oh yeah, screw that one. Definitely not going to do that one. Uh, for getting all the prizes. Oh, that would be for the um, the thing where I got the um, thing for a talent room and the comic book and that. A squeaky clean for enjoying the bath. I probably had to go in the bath at like a certain amount of times, making sure the job wasn't forgotten. I probably get all the things right. <laughs> for currently answering the trivia question, <laughs> yeah, I obviously got that one wrong. Residents of a German castle are being terrorized by a fearsome creature, and it's up to me to crack the case. Once I arrive at the castle, I begin to suspect that there may be more to this monster story than just superstition. As monster sightings become more frequent and creepy signs begin appearing, I find myself in danger of becoming the monster's next victim. Join me as I try to solve the case without becoming another entry in the castle's long and grisly history in my next adventure. The Captive Curse. That was not interesting, but I don't have that one. <laughs> Damn. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and try the other ending. Okay, now to pick the other ending. See what that one's gonna be like. Okay, but I'll be watching. You'd better do it. Ah, thanks, Nancy. Oh, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Okay. Dear Hannah, Rentaro confessed to Mawako and Takai. It was not a pretty sight. After many months of apologizing and begging, Mawako agreed to allow Rentaro to undo some of the damage he'd done to the Ryokan's reputation. Instead of scaring away guests, Rentaro was using his skills to modernize the Ryokan in small, Takai-approved ways. Mawako broke up with Rentaro after he confessed. He's hopeful that one day she'll change her mind. I wouldn't hold my breath if I were him. Once the girls found out Kasumi's true wishes, everyone agreed that the Ryokan should be passed on to Mawako. Mawako accepted the position. As the official owner, she started to really enjoy her work, and it shows. Now that there's no pressure to take over the family business, Yumi's been spending more time at the inn. She's even agreed to expand her business to include catering to the Ryokan. Thanks to Yumi's incessant pushing, Mawako finally agreed to spend a little time in the city. From the looks of it, she had a great time. No longer worried about losing the Ryokan, Takai is finding herself busier than ever. Her classes in the traditional arts are booked for months in advance. She said she'd always fit me in for a calligraphy lesson, even if it may be a bit of a lost cause. From what I hear, the Ryokan's no longer the creepy place I remember. Customers are returning with a vengeance. Guess that means it'll be harder for me to get reservations next time I visit. As for me, I finally got to spend some time in the town with Bess and George, and it was worth the wait. From the boutiques to the traditional cultural exhibits throughout the city, I don't think we've ever had so much fun on a trip. See you soon. Love, Nancy. Okay, so it wasn't really that much different, apart from the beginning part. Wait, Kate wants attention? Okay, so Kasumi's letters were addressed to whom? Marianne. Know that one, I remember that. Yay, and I got that one. <laughs> Residents of a German I can actually skip this. Terrorized by a okay, there was any way to skip that, so I had to go rewatch that. Okay, so, yeah, that was the end of the game. <laughs> that was actually pretty cool. Because I like how they had the two different endings there. Oh yeah, the only thing I've got to complain about is the bento puzzle. God, I hated those so much. I'm really surprised with that last one. I was actually able to get that somehow. But yeah, at least with the other puzzles, I could actually kind of get them. So yeah, I was able to easily pick up on them. So yeah, otherwise I really enjoyed the game. <laughs> yeah, it was Definitely scarier than the other Nancy Drew games that I played. <laughs> God, with, like with the mirror, and then when you got like a close up look at it, like right at the end. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed this LP. Um, I do have another Nancy Drew the game that I've got there that I'll play. Probably it's like another like really scary one that I think I'll probably enjoy. So, yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoy it, enjoyed this LP, and I'll see you in the next one.